Hey guys, it's Mrs. Marshall. It's so weird talking to a screen. Um, I miss all of you guys. I uh, I don't know what is going on in the world or what's happening. Um, I just figured it'd be so much easier to talk to you guys via a video instead of just a list um, of things that some of us aren't going to read. <clears throat> But I will do both, because some people prefer to read, um, and that's fine. Um, I know that the last quarter ended weird. Um, you took a test that Wednesday, and I wasn't here, and then it was just... So I graded all the tests. Um, at this point, I have dropped the lowest quiz grade, and then given the sign-out pass points, you'll see it will say extra credit earned on your second to lowest quiz because your lowest quiz was dropped so there's that um i don't know what's going to happen in the future um i know the next two weeks you're gonna have to listen to my voice on a recording and i'm so sorry i know that in class is better with math uh, but i just wanted to update you guys with kind of things that are going on one second Sometimes my kids are angels and they don't need a ton, you know, and they play with each other. And then other times it's like that scene from Jurassic Park with Chris Pratt and the three dinosaurs. That's what it's like most of the time, I want to say. But, um, so that being said, um, there's going to be a lot of grace, hopefully, towards me. And there's a lot of grace towards you. Um, but what I need is I need to know that you're putting in your full effort because I'm putting in my full effort. So all of that being said, I'm going to share with you the three things that you need in order to be successful at virtual learning of geometry. So the first one deals with your lessons, where to find them, um, where your notes will be, things like that. And then the second will be how to best use the two websites I shared with you. Um, and then the third is about your tests. Tests are 50% of your final grade and so we will discuss what this quarter will look like in our test category. So with all that being said, here we go. So just like when I was on maternity leave, um, I used videos from previous years where I taught in class. That is what I'm going to do during this period where you're at home without me. Um, so if you hear on the video that, you know, tomorrow we have a quiz or Monday we have a quiz, that does not apply to you, um, I would have told you on the portal. So I'm going to do my best to communicate through the portal. Um, always, if you have an, a question, go ahead and email me. But I put everything up week by week, um, and at this point it is difficult to know if and when we will be back in school. So, that being said, while you are doing online learning, um, you will go at a much slower pace than we would in class. So my goal is to do about two lessons a week. Each lesson will have one assignment, so it'll have a video and an assignment, and then there'll be something else, either a review or maybe a Kahoot or maybe maybe even a quiz I don't know um, but two lessons a week is what we're going to be doing that's the goal um, I will provide in the portal I will tell you I'll give you the link to the video and the fill in the blank notes so when you're thinking about these notes, um, normally I print them out for you. If you do not have access to a printer, I know I didn't when I was in high school, um, you would just use regular pencil and paper. Um, it's, you'll have to pause the video to draw the picture. Um, we'll, we're doing all of this, obviously, so you have the notes to look at. Um, but also, whenever we get back in the classroom, you will have a notebook check, um, which were quiz grades, um, just to check that you're filling in your notes. So make sure you keep up with those. Okay, so there are two websites that you're going to use. The portal you've been using all year. 
It will have your grades, it will have my email, it will have um, the assignments um, and like what is expected of you week um, to week. And if you need anything from me, go ahead and email me um, and I will respond. Um, they might be unorthodox times because I'm keeping two people alive. Three people. Um, so there's that. The other website is Big Ideas. Um, but this is a Big Ideas textbook. Um, basically, you'll have online access to your textbook, um, and it helps me get assignments to you um, that are connected to the textbook. Um, so there is that. So you'll have a lesson, and with every lesson there will be an assignment, and that assignment will be on Big Ideas. Um, with every question, let's say the first question said, 2 plus 2, and you accidentally typed in 5, hit enter, and it said, eh, not correct. What you're going to do is you're allowed to correct it or attempt it one more time. So if you get it wrong the first time, you get one more time. So let's say you get it wrong the first time. There is a button. Um, it says something about a tutor or something, I think. Um, but either way, there's a button that you click, and it will give you an example similar to the question that you missed um, right then and there. So you can kind of look at how to do the problem or just look at it and remember how to do the problem or whatever and then try again, hit enter and it will tell you right away if you got it right or wrong. And then you'll go to the next question. At the end it will give you a percentage um, grade and this is not necessarily the grade that you'll get in the grade book. The gradebook is connected to the portal. Big Ideas is not connected to the portal. So I have to go through every single assignment of every single student and find your grade and then plug it into the portal. So if you see that there were 10 questions and you were struggling and you got five of them wrong, Big Ideas will tell you you got a 50% but we're still grading the way we always have this year and it's minus one if you tried it and it would be minus ten if you skipped it. So you would get a 95, not a 50. So keep that in mind that the portal is separate from big ideas. At this point in time you will have about what I've planned are two tests and one project. So that's three test grades. Those test grades form 50% of your final quarter average. I will give you details on the project um, in about a week or so. I'm trying to just make sure everything launches well. Let's say you're struggling and you don't know what to do. Um, email me. You can take a picture of a problem or a concept and email me. Get back there. Um, email me and I will give you back a detailed response. Um, maybe I could send a video. I'm not sure how that works, um, but I can do the best that I can. I think that a lot of grace needs to be shown during this time to our parents, um, your parents. They're just doing what they can. They're probably stressed about work. My brother-in-law was just laid off because of the coronavirus. They're worried about money. they worried about your school. They're worried about a lot of things. So make sure you're doing your best to be nice to them. Probably give them a hug because I'm a parent. My husband gets paid hourly. Um, so if he were told not to come into work because of the virus, that's a lot of money that my family will no longer have. So be nice to your parents, love on your parents, give them grace, um, give your teachers grace. We are just doing the best we can. Um, now my kids are young, um, so I'm not homeschooling them while teaching you, um, but some other teachers have kids who are in school and they're teaching you and they're teaching their children. So um, be graceful to them if you have to email them that you don't understand or something's not working for you. Please always remember to be kind um, because this is a tough time and we all need to come together. Um, we're on the same mission to finish the year. 
That's all we're asking for. Finish the year. Um, and all I need from you is to know that you're doing your best. Put in your effort. I'm putting in my effort. Um, make sure that this doesn't fall to the wayside. This is time off of physical school, but you still have to finish school. So school comes before video games, like 2K, whatever. School comes before the beach. Um, it comes before social media. So we are all in this together. We're trying to get through this together. We need to work together. So now more than ever, you have to communicate with me um, and tell me when you need um, more help. Um, tell me when you don't know if something is due um, and things like that. So let's get through this.